just relax. So this here is uh, Bill's diesel pusher. It's a country coach. These are run about two hundred and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars new. This is a 1996. He has only seventy thousand miles on it, which is just awesome. And he paid just thirty grand, but then he had to put in about five thousand for tires and some engine work. But uh, I think he did a. I think he made a great deal and this thing should run for a long time. We got uh, Bill over here who's a full-time RVer and Catalina. He's going to give us a tour and uh, I'm going to let, yeah, yeah right. he's going to give us a tour. Catalina's going to follow along and uh, I'm just going to be the cameraman, guys. This is my uh, <laughs> Class A Country Coach Intrigue diesel pusher. So here's the living room area. This had another sofa but we pulled it out so I could actually put my chair and enjoy myself and be comfortable. Then we got the sofa. Got it set up cool with the TV right yeah. there in front. TV's right there. You got storage on both sides, which is really nice. And then uh, you got your kitchen area, which is pretty big. Over here, refrigerator, little dining table, good enough for two, three people. It's all you need, right? It's more than you need, right? <laughs> and back okay. here, bathroom. Got a real bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom, a real shower, shower there. Real shower. This is all clothes and storage. Okay. Which is plenty. And then back here is the uh, the bedroom. Queen size bed. Plenty of storage above it. I like it's a lot of like mirror, huh? And then yeah, it's, it's walk ridiculous. around. Where are you? So. Where yeah, walk are around. <laughs> TV up here. Some more storage with a VCR and DVD and all that good stuff. Cool so things. for one person, it's nice. I got no complaints. Very cool. for sure. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it will be too. My my, I, I wish I wouldn't have had to stop my trip. Yeah, you're right. I mean, <laughs> as, as long as I can keep going which I should be fine for a while. All the money has been spent to buy it and fix it up. So the expenses should drop dramatically now. And then it's just food and gas and everything else should keep running. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Like yeah. And then uh, insurance. And insurance was only about 900 bucks for the year for full-time coverage. That's not bad at all. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Why? I was paying like for my car 160 a month. Oh, I got a good driving record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got. I mean, good I driving. Got no accidents. There. I got no. no accidents. No tickets. Being maybe for an RV is different. Yeah, I heard that it is cheaper for an oh, RV, yeah. baby. Isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they don't. Generally thing. speaking, RVs aren't driven all the time. Right. Well, they, you so. do have to get full time coverage. If yeah. you're living full time, you got to make sure you get that coverage. Because if you don't, and they find out, then whatever happens is negated. Okay. So you got to watch yourself. No, I'm full time. You got to pay for it. Okay. And it is a little bit extra, but it's well worth the money. So it's 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 not that much. I think it's worth it. So. For sure. Yeah. So Catalina, you want an A, an a huh? <laughs> Catalina's gonna want. I know she She's already got comfy. There. She's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm I know. sitting. <laughs> you didn't invite, but I'm here already. <laughs> That's right, she's at home, man. She's got her <laughs> dining table. It's like, okay, I, I like this. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Well, all you can do is keep looking. I mean, I literally looked for 10 months, and uh, my heart was set on a Beaver motor coach, mm -hmm. which are really nice. But every time I find one, somebody would come in and buy it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> so, you know, finally, like I said, when I had to move out, it's like, I'm running out of time, I gotta find something. And I had found this one. I had a great time hanging out with Bill. We went over and had dinner at Outback, and uh, we talked for probably over two and a half hours just about the community, about what he was up to, about road tripping, about RVing. It was a great time. He's headed out to Florida, and then he's gonna cruise around the East Coast before he comes back West. So, get out there, guys connect with people, live your big story like Bill, and make sure you're doing something every day to help reduce world suck. Peace, guys.